Hello everyone and welcome to the Mayor's Corner. Uh, we'll have a, a brief broadcast today uh, just to send out some information and we have our special guest here, our Police Chief, Mr. Eden Garcia. Mr. Eden Garcia, thank you for being on the Mayor's Corner and welcome. Thank you and um, <laughs> you know it's always a pleasure to be here and it's always a pleasure to represent uh, our community. Uh, especially as your police chief. So thank you for having me. Yes. Oh, it means a lot to us. Well, you wanted to bring just some information to our public, to our citizens in reference to um, our ordinance in reference to uh, vehicles and parked on sidewalks and those type of things. So there's several things that have been coming up and, and as we review the city ordinances and, and try to and not necessarily clean up, but, our, but better our community and, and, and bring to light, because a lot of people don't realize that there are city ordinances mm -hmm. uh, on in, that meet uh, certain uh, uh, incidents or certain things that are happening sure. out there. So, uh, for example, one of the things that we're going to be working on is uh, abandoned vehicles mm -hmm. uh, and not necessarily on private property right now. We won't target those, mm -hmm. but we will at some point. Mm -hmm. But vehicles that are parked on city streets that have been there for a while mm -hmm. you know and so i want to make sure that we address this with our with our community i just don't want our officers to go and tag and 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 you, you not know what's going on what that tag is for i want to make sure that we are uh, letting. letting educating our community mm -hmm. we're here to work with you and there's going to be those that for example that may just can't do it and we want to be able to provide that service and see how we can help them maybe move that vehicle out that's been parked on the city street. Uh, but uh, before we do that, before we tag your vehicle, you'll have an officer that will go by, knock on your door, and want to explain to you the city ordinance and why we need them to move it. What does that look like, uh, or notice? Or so here's a, one of the notices that we have that you will see uh, in your car is... is uh, it's impound notice as Alice Police Department. It talks about uh, our, our city ordinance and it, mm -hmm. it has it uh, the number here where you can always go back into our website, our city website, and you can also look up the city ordinance. And uh, it's, it gives you basically 48 hours that you're going to have to move. That's once you have already put the sticker on the, on the windshield of a car. Mm -hmm. It gives 48 hours. It hasn't been moved. Then we will go move it. Okay. Okay. And then here's another one that we'll also be utilizing. This is warning, and it's just a warning. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, educating our community. We just don't want to. You, you may have been stopped uh, uh, as a community member, and sometimes you we give you warnings, and and so it's same thing with uh, parking and handicap. You know, it's something that we are strongly against. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do see, for example, you go to Walmart, you go to HEB, mm -hmm. uh, people just taking up handicap spots that aren't handicapped. They don't have a sticker. Uh, and that's, they shouldn't do that. And so in order to utilize um, those parking spots at any designated mm -hmm. um, facility or entity, mm -hmm. they have handicap accessible parking. You have to have uh, a emblem or something on the... So the confusion sometimes is if, if I have this, the emblem, I can park there, oh. even though the, I'm not handicapped. It has to be the person that's Cor been issued that that. Uh, Correct. The, if you have that someone that's handicapped in your car, they then you can utilize it. But you can't just go utilize it just because you sure. want to utilize it. Um, you know, you can be issued a citation. You could be also it can be removed uh, and turned into the state. Uh, mm. You know, uh, uh, confiscated. You know, from yep. you. Yep. But we're going to be going out giving warnings, right? Mm -hmm. We'll put this on your sticker. You've been warned. Please don't do it again. And it's, it 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 looks like this. Uh, and it's very simple. And mm -hmm. uh, it talks about uh, uh, parked in a handicap, parked in a uh, no parking zone or limited par uh, time parking, parking in a fire lane, parking on a sidewalk or curb. People don't realize that you can't park on your curbs. You know, it's it's you're damaging those curbs, and people may well why? But because you're damaging them. Mm -hmm. So those are the things you have to be uh, well aware of. Park facing traffic. So we tend yeah. to on the other lane, on the other side, right? We're facing, we're uh, we're going against traffic parked on the other side of the road. You will be also. That's that's okay. illegal. Yes, ma'am. So those are the things that we are going to be targeting, and um, but we want to make sure that we're educating our community about it. So when we talk about uh, 
the abandoned vehicles, you know, there is a criteria, right? Mm -hmm. And so people say, well, how do how do you make the determination uh, that it's there? So I've, I've written so just a quick note. The vehicle is inoperable, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could look at it as flat tires. It's severely wrecked. Uh, it's dismantled. Grass uh, you know, growing under. Yeah, grass going <laughs> under. Uh, those are the things that we're going to be looking at. Uh, okay. You know, you may say, for example, I drive it to work. Well, you know, it's been parked <laughs> there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so we'll visit with the neighbors and we'll visit with the community. Let them know, you know, it's we have to move it. And mm -hmm. this is why. Uh, and we want to make sure that they know the city ordinance. And it's city ordinance 5142. 5143 and 5144 and they can go onto our website and 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 um, and look it up uh, we can you know we can also but we'll also give them a copy of the city ordinance if you do have a car fitting this criteria in front of your home mm -hmm. parked on the street we we will give you the city ordinance we will educate you we will talk about it and when you say uh, the website you're talking about uh, the city website or your the police? the city website the yes city ma website yes ma'am okay. okay city of Alice website so it, um and you know it's we just want to bring that shock and awe to people right you know, you know what are you doing I, what's it yeah. for and I um, appreciate this because again we're trying to get information out there to the citizens just to make them knowledgeable on some of these ordinances and some of the procedures that we take. And we're, we're not out there to be uh, a bad guy. We're just trying to keep our city in order and and then also follow whatever ordinances or laws are out there. And there is. And, and I think that's where we have to start because our people in our community need to be educated on this, mm -hmm. uh, need to be just give them some history. Tell them why. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's hard for somebody that's had their car and now you're going to take it away. Why? It's my car. Uh, but there is a city ordinance, and I think it's fair, and we owe it to our community and to the people there that are living here to let them know why and not just go up there and do it and just take it because it's wrong, <laughs> right? We want to make sure we address right. it with them. And uh, so don't be surprised if you see an officer uh, go by, knock on your door, and talk to you about our ordinances. Don't be scared. It's just something that we're doing to educate our community, educate you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think it'd be – it's um, – you, I'm, I'm trying to be we're trying to be proactive sure. uh, and make a difference in our community uh, and I think that's where it all starts and so uh, I hope that we all can come together on this oh yes and I, I know everyone's usually so receptive our citizens are good they're pretty good about um, anything that we need to work together and and this is again in line with trying to just beautify our city invite you know make everything where we want to make people feel like you're invited. It's a beautiful community. So this is in line with cleaning up our community also. Yes, ma'am, it is. And uh, we just, we, we, want, we don't want to be part of the problem. We want to be part of the solution. Of the solution, yeah. yes. ma'am. And for so long, you know, we may talk about uh, everybody has a complaint, but no one ever has a solution, <laughs> right? And that's something I, I just, I don't want to be a, I don't want to fall in that category of the complaint and not doing anything. I want to make sure that I'm part of the solution, but I also want to make sure that we're doing it right and that we're educating our community. And I think that's where it all starts. And I'll tell you, um, I want to commend you and your officers because I know that y'all have made a really great offer. Off. <laughs> I didn't mean off. No, I understand. <laughs> An attempt uh, um, to go out there and reach out to our community and, and let our citizens uh, know about different ordinances. We talked about the uh, one about the the dogs with the collars and stuff yes, that re recently came came in effect. But you know, also you've integrated yourself with our community. You've you've asked and you've reached out to different um, organizations. Just try to educate our public. So I appreciate that. No problem. Um, you know, we we started on uh, our first, uh, one of the first things that we're doing or one of the programs that we're initiating is uh, when we talk about community policing is letting people know who we are. Mm -hmm. And because a lot of times you see officers, you don't know them. So we started on, our first one was on Hughes Street. Mm -hmm. uh, we started on the south end of Alice. Uh, we Officers walked that street and knocked on doors and mm -hmm. just introduce themselves and it's important that we know who we can contact in case of emergency a lot of times we want to call the police department but we don't call because we don't know who to talk to right <laughs> but by giving them a card letting them know 
that we're there for them. It mm -hmm. kind of opens up that door. Uh, we will be doing that on several streets, on all the streets at some point. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to take some time. I think we have mm -hmm. Farm Street uh, it will be our uh, next project that we'll be walking. Um, and it's just good. It's not just good PR, but it's good to, for people to know who we are and that we are there to help them. And I think that that makes them, it lends itself to being able to communicate and not have that fear sometimes when you get to know that specific officer or to get to know you as our police chief, you know, yes, as our leader in our community with law enforcement, you know, it just makes people more comfortable when you're out there and you're knocking on their doors and talking to them. It, it, I think that's great. That's wonderful. And um, for any of you that uh, you can reach at me at the Alice Police Department. I'm always there. I'm there in my office. Um, I'm there to provide a service to this community and provide a service to our officers. Mm -hmm. And so they can, anyone, anyone can go by and visit with me. If they ever have a complaint, they have mm -hmm. a, uh, there's a problem that they need help with, uh, please come by and visit. My door's always open and you can call mm -hmm. me at any time. Well, I appreciate that. And I, I'm sure our citizens appreciate that. And again, we're here to, to serve you and we're here to um, to listen to your concerns and help and work together in conjunction with each other. So. And you know, it uh, working we, working with the community, uh, working with our city council, working with our sheriff's department, it's been really, really enlightening and mm -hmm. it's been a great experience for me uh, because the support has been there. And I wanna make sure that the city knows that we are there to support them too. Uh, we offer a service. Uh, sometimes, you know, it, it, you know, it, with a new chief comes new ideas, mm -hmm. uh, but I just don't think we've done a good enough job of reaching our community and to educate our community, uh, humanize our community. Uh, not everybody is a bad person, mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we need to really stress to our community oh, yeah. um, and just work with them. And, uh, but uh, we've had great, great uh, success. Um, and I look forward to more success and we, you know, I'll be honest, we're going to hit hard times. There's going to be, not every day is a good day, but we'll battle through it and we'll make sure. change. We all, we all face those. So yes, it's how we navigate through those. And yes, again, together, together we can accomplish anything. So yes, open communication is key and, and getting this information out to our public. I know also, uh, you do have a substation also at the, um, over there at the apartments we do and so one of the things that's kind of been holding us back is we still don't have the internet access there oh, okay. and it's just because of being that we are law enforcement it's a little different than the normal yeah. tech, uh, <laughs> internet service so once we get that up and going and, and uh, uh, the housing authority has been great to allow us to be there I know uh, our Crime Stoppers has their meetings there. Oh, uh, we did put a conference table in the room and stuff, mm -hmm. so they meet there on a monthly basis. But that is going to be a substation for us. Uh, we'll be working out of there in the evenings. Um, I will be installing cameras, and that way we will know what's happening, what's going on. Uh, we also have the chamber, the old Chamber of Commerce yes. building. <laughs> we'll be moving in there. Some of our officers uh, will be moving in there. So. You know, we're trying to expand. Uh, we do have, um, we, we're limited in, our, in our, our, the space that we do currently have, but we're, we're really reaching uh, a lot of boundaries and, and mm -hmm. knocking down doors. So it's really good. We're mm -hmm. really excited. And I know you're working on, on getting um, the police department remodeled too, so. So, yeah, so that's, uh, in the, <laughs> we're, we're working on the uh, police department. That'll be remodeled here soon. We'll be going out. Uh, I know we're working with uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Esparza. He's been a great help for us on that and uh, getting that organized, getting that pushed. Mr. Esparza uh, is our city manager. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and and so he's been a great help for us. I can't say enough about that. Um, but um, getting that building and, and getting it inoperable to where it needs to be uh, that's been my goal. That's been this council's goal and with you there, Mayor, and the council and our city manager to give them a place where, uh, you know, we it hasn't been updated in over 20 some years. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, we talked about moving the police department um, when I first arrived was to have it somewhere, uh, maybe the old bank or, you know, another building. But I always believe that we should stay downtown mm -hmm. because if 
we wanted to beautify downtown, then why not start with your police department? And so that's our next step. It's not something we're talking, something that's going to happen. So I'm excited about that. It's not, uh, it's not just talk. It's, it's going to happen. I'm excited. Um, and it also gives a, a really great presence at your downtown to our community and easy, centrally located to service our community. Yes, ma'am. So I appreciate everything y'all y'all have done, our police officers, yourself, with your leadership. And, and thank you to our council and, and to our city manager for all of us working together to yes, make these things happen. And, and God willing, we will continue to get information out to our, our citizens and, and help them navigate also some of the new ordinances or the new laws that do come in place. And, and I think it's 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 uh, part of who we are. Part of it should be part of our culture moving forward. Mm -hmm. uh, that we educate our community and not just hit them up and Absolutely. you know and, and cite them. Um, yes. We have to let them know. And and please. And and one of the things that I worry about is the elderly. You may have a vehicle. You can't move it. Uh, I want to be able to provide something, some type of help for you to maybe move it to another location, move it to the back, mm -hmm. do something like that. Uh, uh, again, I just don't want to be a problem. I want to be part of the solution. The solution yes, yes. ma'am. And so I want to reach out to them and let them know who we are and, and what we're for. It's part of also being in a smaller community. We all know each other and it, it's a little different. So the approach is a little bit different sometimes than if you were in a big city. So Of course. And you know, <laughs> you, you uh, Alice is a great community. And yes. I love Alice. Uh, and I think we have so much to offer uh, that this community hasn't seen yet and so we yes. want to make sure that we're giving them everything uh, that we have and everything that is whether it's you know our officers have been going through training mm -hmm. um, they've been going through CPR training first aid training been going through uh, uh, firearms qualifications been going through uh, taser certification mm -hmm. uh, we have our SWAT team that we were just putting together they yeah. just got our officers are just getting certified mm -hmm. uh, we've been working along with the sheriff's department we've been getting them we have 22 we have five different cities here mm -hmm. in Alice they're they're currently training uh, awesome. so it is awesome and and again by working together there's so much that we could solve and so that's the exciting part. Yes. Uh, you know, will we agree on everything? No, we won't. But at the end of the day, we can we can sure come together and, and make yes. a difference. And as long as we have the same goals in mind to better our community, that's... We've had, we've seen um, in this past year, which I, I'm just ecstatic with the collaboration we've seen. You know, our sheriff's office, Sheriff Bueno has been awesome with you. and and working well with you, the Wyatt Ranches, uh, with their wonderful donations that have helped you to purchase vehicles. I mean, just, it's been amazing, the, the, what I've witnessed and seen with the collaboration and look forward to that continued collaboration. So we, it's, uh, you know, friendships that we've made throughout the years. Um, you know, Sheriff Bueno and I go back a long ways, but he's been very instrumental in helping shape our department. Uh, you know, he was chief for yes, God was. knows how many years, <laughs> and he served this community admirably for over 40 years. So we d he deserves that, and, and he has my respect for that. Uh, the Wide Ranches, I can't say enough. I mean, I they've been there to help us. Um, and they'll continue to help us. I know they will. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll continue to help them. Uh, we are currently coming into an agreement with uh, our district attorney in Oasis County. Their, their office uh, will be bringing that next uh, month. Uh, so we'll be having an interlocal agreement awesome. with them. Uh, so it's, 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 there's a lot of things on the horizon yes. and that are coming. And uh, we just, it just, we're excited. We really are. Yes, well, thank you again for all your contributions, everything you've done since you, and how long has it been since you've been Ten here? months. We've been about the same. Yes, like, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, we've, I guess we've done a lot in 10 months. Yes. Uh, you know, we've got new cars. We have a new building coming. Uh, we have interlocal agreements. Uh, uh, you know, I, I went, we're looking at uh, our, what our crime rate is, is, is at or where it was and where it is now and doing it with less officers than we've had in 2015, 2016. Okay. Um, you know, it's just not... It's working smarter, you know, but uh, in a short time, we've come a long way, and I'm excited. I have a great group of men mm -hmm. and women. 
uh, and uh, my administration can't say enough about them. So uh, I'm very excited. But it can't happen without a great mayor and a great city council and a great uh, city manager to help us uh, and working together. And, and that's where we've been and we will continue. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for, for listening in on our broadcast. And I hope this was educational and just be looking out if you do get those tags. Um, our police mm -hmm. chief and our officers are there to answer those questions. So again, thank you so much and we'll see you next month. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you all, bye-bye. <laughs> thank you, ma'am.